Hi everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wears, and today I'm going to do a comparison of three different white pigment inks. I have Versa Magic in Cloud White, Hero Hues in Unicorn White, and Picket, Front, Picket Fence from the Distressed Ink Line, which is actually a pigment according to the, the back of the packaging. So I have some blue lightweight cardstock here. I have a stamp set from Hero Arts, which I'm going to use for stamping comparison. And I have an embossing folder, and I'm also going to do some stenciling. I really want to see how these three different pigment inks uh, measure up to each other and how they compare and contrast. So I uh, embossed three panels and also die cut them. I used a stitched um, edge rectangle die from Craft Stash, and I'm just labeling the back of all three panels so I know which is which. And I'm basically going to do some um, ink blending or ink smushing or swiping or whatever right across the top of these three panels. So to start I'm going to use the Hero Hues uh, Unicorn White. This is the one I use the most. This is my go-to. Um, I'm just showing you kind of how the, the pads are constructed. I believe both the Hero Hues and the um, Versa Fine or whatever it is one are both they appear to be like a foam kind of whereas the uh, picket fence seems more like a, a felt, more like the traditional sort of pad. So this one, to be fair, is probably the most dry out of the three. However, um, I don't think it's very dry. I just think it's maybe a little bit more dry versus Magic. I just feel like, not that it's been used as much, because it's actually been used a lot less than the Hero Arts. However, I don't think it I think maybe it just kind of air dried a little bit over time. So I'm just doing the same thing, just carefully trying to stay on the raised edges um, of the embossing. See here, you can see it's more like a felt. It's a lot more like the just the regular distress ink or the distress oxide. This right off the bat, it shocked me. <laughs> um, and I think this is maybe the, the texture of the felt. It was really... I don't know, you could just really see the lines. However, I was shocked at how bright white it is right off the bat. So this is a huge difference right here. Um, you could see the the middle option is much more subdued. The Distress Ink is way more white. Um, and the Hero Hues just kind of, I don't know, you could see I made some mistakes. But I felt like the Hero Hues went on... Well, I don't know. I preferred it. This one went on the the easiest and didn't make any mistakes, but it wasn't as dramatic. So, um, again, it's preference here. So if you're going to do this technique, um, the Versa Magic was the neatest but the lightest. The Distress Ink was the brightest but the hardest to work with in this technique. Um, and the Hero Hues was just kind of in the middle. So... Um, I would say with that, I should have probably tried it with like a foam pad or like a blending foam and a handle to see if I could have gotten a different result. So maybe I'll do that in the future, um, but just that little cursory glance, that was kind of my observations. Now these three, I kind of have them positioned wonky, but I wanted to do kind of a detailed sentiment as well as a detailed stamp. And I felt like this Hero Arts stamp set provided both of that because it's a really detailed stamp and a really kind of small fiddly uh, sentiment. So I'm just kind of positioning this and cleaning off the stamp and moving on to the next one. So I'm going to do the second stamping and then move it up. Um, I'm stamping both both time or sorry two times for each comparison. Um, actually maybe more than two times. I'm stamping multiple times until I get even coverage basically um, and then I'm going to show you a close-up of how they compare now some of these you may have noticed also if you've ever tried to stamp with um, a white pigment ink they do kind of sink in to the cardstock a little bit over time or maybe they dry back so I did want to show you these once they were completely dry because I do feel like it does make a difference so once I'm done stamping all three of these um, I'll be able to show you kind of up close and personal how they look. So this, I don't think they're dry yet, but you can see right off the bat, again, the Distress Ink is the brightest white. But I just want to show you these once I hit them with the heat tool and kind of dry them back just so it's an even comparison. I will say the, the Hero Hues did the best 
with the letters, I felt. Like it was, the other ones, if you see up close, they kind of, I don't know, they had like little lines through them. They didn't stamp as well with the fine detail letters. Um, there was definitely detail on all three. I felt like in terms of the stamping of the actual image, the hero and the distress ink definitely did better. And again, the bright white component of the distress ink was very cool. So here I have Make Some Plaid Stencil. This is from Colorful Life Designs. If you do check out the shop, there's thousands of amazing stencils. Um, and you can use my coupon AmyFan10 if you shop. But I'm going to use the same sort of lightweight color cardstock in the purple. And I'm just going to do some um, ink blending with a blending foam and a handle to compare all three of these. So this is probably where I noticed the least amount of difference. I'm just going to go through and quickly ink blend over the entire panel. Um, I did wipe off the little blending foam in between because I didn't want any um, contamination or unfair, um, you know, depiction of how these work but basically I'm just going to do the same thing for all three um, and then also just kind of let them dry back. I do hit them with the heat tool and I am going to label them all but I did notice for some reason the heat tool um, kind of made the purple paper almost pink. I felt like it was one of those like hyper color t-shirts. I don't know if you guys remember those from the was it 80s or 90s. Let me know in the comments. I kind of think it was early 90s but yeah the hyper color t-shirts when they would um encounter warm temperatures they would change color um i feel like i have some hyper color paper because this this turn from purple to pink you'll see it in a minute when i hit it with the heat tool but again i'm just doing the same thing wiping the blending foam off in between on some scrap paper and going through to compare how ink blending does with all three of these pigments um, that's the Versa Magic. So I'm going to clean off my work surface, clean off the stencil, dry it off, um, wipe off the blending foam, and then come in with the final one here, which is the Hero Hues. Um, and get ink all over myself because, you know, I'm a picture of Grace. So once I'm done with this, I will show you the comparison of the three. Um, similar to my black inks, there's some similarities, there's some differences. I wasn't sure when I got the Distress ink, since the Distress Ink line is a dye line, and then the Distress Oxide is a hybrid, which is a mix of the dye and pigment, I wasn't sure what the Distress Ink Picket Fence was. But again, on the back of the description, it describes it as a pigment. It does not describe it as a hybrid. So I'm trying to compare kind of apples to apples here. You can see how the page turned kind of pink. That's what I was talking about. Um, but there's these three comparison. I'm just going to let them sit a little bit longer here. Um, and in this one, almost the Hero Hues looked almost a little bit more pigmented and a little bit brighter. So here's a, a photo showing there's not a huge difference. The biggest difference, I would say, is the bright white of the Distress Ink as it comes to the, um, you know, going over the embossing. And do stick around a minute. I'm going to show you some finished cards and show you what I did to kind of soup them up because I couldn't let those gorgeous panels go to waste. So here what I did, um, I kind of cleaned up the Distress Ink one and kind of messily went around the edge because it was just too messy with the lines. But what I did in addition to using these simple strips from Tailored Expressions um, is I used a copper Delicata ink here in a blending foam and went over top of the white. So it really helped it stand off because of that white pigment component. And then I have these gorgeous, my favorite, <laughs> uh, rose gold blingage, which is new to the shop at A Colorful Life Designs, to kind of tie in the copper that I put over the top. So I added them to A2 size card bases, and there you go. Now I got three sympathy cards. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll link everything below, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.